Hey, I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and today I'm going to teach you how to master the pick and roll. This video is brought to you by Arbit, the one-of-a-kind social polling app that allows you to connect directly with me and let me know what videos you want to see next. Just download the app at the link in the description and follow me at Shot Mechanics for a free exclusive shooting workout in my Arbit bio. And don't forget to vote on my poll so you can let me know exactly what videos you want to see next. I'll see you there. All right, so the pick and roll is becoming more and more important in today's game because a lot of coaches are going to it because they know that it gets great movement in the offense and forces a lot of stress on the defense. So if you can master the pick and roll, it's going to make you that much harder to stop in actual game play. So today what I've got is i got six options out of the pick and roll where if you can master all of them, you're going to be almost impossible to stop. So the very first thing you want to do is we're going to talk about a pull-up jump shot. So it happens, I'm going to pretend like I got this garbage can as my pick man. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go away from the pick to begin with. So if I've got a big man coming to set my pick this way, I want to bounce to the outside first, allow that pick to come and set up. Once they've come and set up, I'm sitting low and I'm going over the top tight to the pick, right? So I want to try to get close to this pick as, possible, as I possibly can. If I banana cut it on the outside, that allows room for my defender to slide through and it's not a very effective pick and roll. So number one, we want to bounce out, let it set up, be patient with that pick. Number two, we want to come off tight, right? So from here, the first scoring option we're going to have is a simple pull-up jump shot, somewhere around the mid-range, right? And the reason why this is effective is because a lot of times my defender's guarding me in front and I pop out and I go over the top. If they chase me around and this big man's help side defender starts to sag off, I'm going to have a really nice sweet spot right in here to raise up and knock down that 15-footer. Now the key is you've got to be ready to shoot and you've got to be ready to spring quick because that defender is going to be right on your tail most likely. So as you come through, there's a couple main keys. Number one, I want to stick the toe. So as I'm getting ready to shoot, I want my toes to stick into the ground and if I can get them to squeak, that's a good sign that it's good, right? If it's a hop, we can still do it. If you're shooting off of a one, two, you're sticking that outside toe, keeping your heel off the ground. That way you can transfer your forward momentum into upward momentum. So all you're doing is you're coming through, boom, setting it up, picks coming, staying tight. Then we're sticking that outside toe and we're loading our hips early. Notice as I'm getting ready to shoot, I'm loading the spring so I can explode the spring quick, right? Again, mid-range, you're going to have a hand up in your face, somebody contesting, so you got to load spring as quick as you possibly can to get it off before the help side can get there. All right, so the next option we have is if the defender goes underneath the screen. So let's say I'm setting up my pick and roll, it's coming, and my defender decides to go underneath the opposite direction instead of following me over the top. So now we're looking for a comeback pull-up jumper. So as I start to go over the pick and I see my guy going under, I can hit a pullback and come back to the same side as I was at to begin the pick and roll. Now what happens a lot of the times is as my big man's setting a screen right here, as I come through and over and they slide, my big man will slide with me a little bit and I can keep him in between me and the defender. And if you don't get a hard hedge from the big man's defender, it makes it really, really easy to get an open look. Key here is the exact same. We want to read our defender, so as he goes under and opposite, then I'm pulling back and I'm right here, loaded, ready to spring into my shot, right? If you go over the top and you come back straight up and down, it's going to be really hard to knock down that shot. So the whole key is you want to read that defender, see where they're going, and then adjust opposite. All right, so the next option is if we want to get to the basket. So a lot of times this is great if the help side defender jumps high on your mid-range, right? And you've got that head of steam going downhill. So it all starts the same, we're bouncing it out, boom. Pick and roll's coming, I'm over the top, staying tight. Here, instead of pulling up for a jump shot, my guy's trailing me around, help side defender's coming. Here, instead of pulling up, I'm going to hezzy, so I'm raising my shoulders, raising my eyes to the rim just like this, making it look like I'm going to shoot a pull-up jumper. I'm going to hezzy, and then boom, explode out of it, continue all the way for a finish, right? This works great because a lot of big men are scared to give an open shot up. So you can think about if the help side defender's guarding my screener and he's coming over, if I give this hezzy, he's probably going to close hard and that's going to allow you to get to the basket for a pretty easy look. But the whole key here is we really want to sell it with the eyes, right? So as I come through, I want to lift my eyes to the rim, lift my shoulders. If I can do that, they're going to bite. You'll have an open lane to either kick or finish. All right, so the next option that I've got is a variation off of the hezzy finish. And this is if the defenders actually switch. So now I've got the big man on me for sure, right? So it all starts the same. You're going to bounce it to the outside. Boom, pop it back over the top, keeping it tight. I'm still hitting this hezzy just like before, eyes up, shoulders up. But now, if he's, if he's kind of started to back up or close that space, but it's not enough just to get a jump shot, I'm going to throw my next dribble forward, like I'm attacking the basket, right? And this is where the combo comes in. And then I'm going to pull it back to get that separation. If you watch really shifty guards like 
you know, Kemba Walker, Shabazz Napier, Kyrie Irving, they're really good if that big man or that help side man is kind of in that no man's land where they can't really get off the jumper, but they also can't get to the rack that well. They throw it forward, then they get that backward separation to get that open shot. Key here is you want to land loaded, ready to shoot, right? So as I hezzy and I throw my shoulders, as I pull back, I want to keep my heels off the ground on the landing and think about getting this zigzag in my body and in my legs. That way I can spring quickly into my jump shot, use that momentum from my hop. You do that, you'll get a wide open look and off that separation, it's pretty deadly. All right, so the next option we have is to isolate the big man once they switch, and that's the push out attack. So it all starts the same, bumping out, picks coming. So as I come over the top, top I want to start moving downhill and then push the ball to the outside. So I'm going to curl around and push it out. What that does is it isolates that big help defender. So you can think about if the defense is playing here and they slide over, if I push out to this gap, they're going to slide with me and then now I'm one on one. So with this option, we're going to attack the basket. So as I come through and I push out, I'm going to throw a little hezzy here or a little ball fake or a little move, whatever you want to do. And then I'm getting him to bite and then getting all the way to the rack. Now the idea is by pushing out, we get a better angle, we get better spacing. A lot of times you get a better look at the basket by attacking from the outside in. All right, so the next read is we have the push out pull up jump shot. Now this is the exact same thing we just worked on, but if the help side defender or the big starts to back up too much because he's afraid you're going to get to the basket, this is the time that we want to pull up for the jumper. So we're doing the same thing, picks coming, hitting it, pushing out. Right here we're going to read them, right? If they start backing up and giving us space, that's where we're going to raise up and knock it down. Now, you always want to read the defenders, right? If, if they switch and the other guy's on our pick man, we want to see where he's playing because they might come double and that mean, it might mean that I have to kick for the open pick and pop situation, right? So the idea here though is as we come through, we're going to push it out laterally almost like we're going towards the sideline, reading it, big man drops, knocking down a shot right there. If you can do that, you'll get a lot of great looks. All right, if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button and then in the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you want to see next. I make pretty much everything off a request, so leave it down below and hopefully I'll get to it. And if you're new to shot mechanics, you're going to want to do two things. Number one, hit that subscription button because we put out videos every weekend. They're all going to get you better. I guarantee it. The second thing you're going to want to do is click that button down there or the link in the description to get a free copy of my seven day shooting challenge. This is a shooting challenge that's going to change the way you think about training your jumper and it will probably increase your shooting percentage in the very first day. That's how powerful it is. So you're definitely going to want to check that out. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.